Hey you guys, Ashley K here and I'm back with another video. If you have seen my first Apple video, then this will be a part two of this video, okay? How to get hired for Apple, how to get noticed for Apple. This is going to be a more detailed video of my part one video. So if you have not seen part one, I will link it down below and you guys can check that out and then come and check this one out and then everything will make a lot more sense. This will be the part two of how how to get hired for apple how to get noticed for apple how to get an apple advisor job okay if you are struggling on how to um, get noticed for apple if you had some questions about the first video this is going to be a more detailed video okay i am going to go ahead and say that this is going to be a longer video than the first video okay so if you're not somebody that likes to sit down and listen to talking okay i'm going to warn you now that this is going to be a lot of talking okay so i don't want to see in the comments uh, oh, too much talking blah, blah, blah and whatever yes okay this has to be a very detailed video because when i made the video shorter a lot of people had a lot of questions so this is going to be a little bit longer okay so now that we got that whole spiel out of the way i am going to introduce myself hello hi how are you my name is ashley k i specialize in videos on how to make money online i specialize in videos to create a budget most importantly i show you guys how to live your best budget friendly life okay so if that's something you are interested in be sure to subscribe to the channel become a part of the family okay we have a lot of money making videos okay you guys if you have some questions on how to make money online after watching this video i will link my direct playlist on how to make money online in the description bar so make sure you're going to this description bar after the video because lots of goodies are down there so make sure you check that out okay and now that we got that out the way let's get into the video let's just split up this video in different parts of the video because this because this particular video i think would be more effective if i split it in pieces so it's gonna go from topic to topic if that makes sense okay you guys because it's not just getting hired for apple it's a lot of things that are entailed into getting hired for apple so i think the best way to do it is to split it into different sections so everything makes sense so it could be a collaborative thing so the first thing i'm gonna start with on how to get hired for apple is what you entail at home the job title that you're going to be looking for is to be an at-home advisor or an apple advisor at home these are the titles that you're going to be looking for when you're trying to get a job working from home for apple okay you guys so that's the first thing that we're going to talk about that was one of the questions that i seen in the comments this is a title what is a job title what am i looking for so that is what you're going to be looking for to become an at-home advisor okay so that is a person that is going to be answering questions when it comes to basically their customer service in the back end of apple okay so you are going to be the online at home person that is going to be dealing with troubleshooting that is going to be dealing with people's concerns when it comes to products like this is something that you are going to be dealing with when it comes to being an at home advisor you are basically the troubleshooter okay you're the person that needs to solve all problems and you need to be very versed when it comes to working with apple products okay so that's the first First thing that you'll need when it comes to be when having skills when it comes to becoming an apple advisor so this is going to be the skills part what you need as a person this is going to be the first part of you getting hired for this job that being said you do need to have a background in helping people okay so if you are a person that's working in customer service currently if you have um, worked in customer service in the past if you do a job now that you're helping customers in some type of way you're providing assistance to someone and it's something that you enjoy doing that's one of the skill sets that you would need to possess when going into the shop because it's essentially going to be the same thing and those skills will go hand in hand in what you're doing you need to be a person that is willing to help all the time having a level head keeping calm because i'm gonna tell you guys working customer service okay i come from a background in customer service it is not easy okay you do deal with people's attitudes you do deal with people being frustrated so this is something that you need to be able to to um, control and be able to control your emotions when it comes to working in this job that's one of the top skills i would say you would need to possess when working in this skill set okay so that's number two that's gonna go ahead with number one but that's kind of tip number one and number two so now that we got the skill sets out of the way i'm going to actually talk about the new countries apple has actually opened up their job advisor advisor positions too so they have recently added um the country china singapore 
and also Ireland to their job advisor um, position. So these countries were not added before and now they are currently being added as of 2023. So yes, clap all around. Okay, you guys. So these countries can now be applying for um, at-home advisor jobs. So if you're somebody that lives in these countries, um, you can now go ahead and apply for this advisor job. Okay, so I actually have a direct link to the job um, board. So this is Apple's job advisor board. So you will actually see other um, positions being offered for Apple. The advisor job that we are currently talking about, this is where they will post it. You're going to go ahead and click that link and then you're going to be keeping an eye on the job advisor. On the board, you will see a whole bunch of different Apple jobs, but that's okay because this is their direct link of where they would be posting the job that we are talking about currently, okay? So hopefully that makes sense, you guys. So you're going to go ahead and click that direct link to that job um, board and this is what you're going to be watching to see when they post this um customer advisor job being said i'm going to talk about um the statistics so we need to know some statistics and some back end information before applying to this job so since i posted my first apple video i will say that this job position has skyrocketed when it comes to the demand for this job it has become fastly a very popular job almost everyone is trying to get this apple advisor job okay with that being said um it's the stakes are getting quite high and it's getting a little bit more difficult to be hired for this job because there's a ton of people are keeping an eye out and looking to be hired for this job okay and i don't blame them because this if you score this job this is a very good job to have okay you guys and i'll tell you guys all the benefits comes to being hired and what you actually get in your hiring package this job has vastly grown to be the number one at home job in the usa okay you guys so this is the number one <laughs> job okay when it comes to working at home that everyone is gunning for like it has vastly grown to number one it has it has surpassed a lot of other companies when it comes to working at home and working online, okay? With that being said, like I said, it goes back to everyone wants this job and it's becoming very hard to get hired for this job because the demand is crazy. Well, let's talk about the application process. Okay, so once you put in your resume and once you finish the application process online, it does take average, it does take on average about one to two months to be hearing back from Apple. Do send off your resume. You need to expect that it's going to take within that time frame to get um, any type of response from Apple. You will get obviously an automated um, response saying thank you for applying, but the processing um, actual back end process when it comes to being hired for this job is going to take between one to two months so please expect if you're with sitting around waiting for a few weeks and you're wondering what's going on that is their expected processing time when it comes to applications not just for this job but any job when it comes to apple we are going to talk about the pay for apple okay you guys so the expected a job um average per hour right now as we speak is 18 dollars per hour to 18 on um, 45 so that is the realm that you will be expecting to be paid when it comes to their rates per hour that is their starting rate 18 to 1845 is what i was seeing so um yes their um hours are very flexible so if you do have another job that you are currently working at they do work with flexibility they have availability they give you availability calendar so you're able to put in your availability on when you are available you can work weekends you can work um nights you can work days you can work evenings because it is an at-home job it's at your discrepancy so how long what your hours are you are going to be able to put that in and they will be able to accommodate you going forward talk about training so Apple's program for training is entails they have a paid four week training program. Okay, you guys, so you will be getting trained by Apple for four weeks, almost a, basically a month, okay, of training, which I think is very good when it comes to um, training and being hired. That's a nice amount of time that you can be able to hone in your skills and learn what you need to learn when it comes to paid training. And it's from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. So when you do get hired, I will suggest that you block off if you do have another job or something else going on you need to block off that month of training because you just don't want to be having to have a conflict of going somewhere else and having to be this place and having to be that place so it's just good to just block off that time so you can hone in and focus in on what you need to know and get the information and what you need to know and be the best at this job because only the best succeed when it comes to these type of jobs you guys so you want to make sure that you are paying attention and getting the most amount of information as possible when you are in the paid training because this is the time that you can make the mistakes 
learn what you need to learn, get the information that you need to get and move forward. Talk about the actual package of what you would expect when you are being hired for Apple. So this was one of the questions that was asked to me, what is going to be expected of um, the package, hiring package, what will I get, blah, 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 blah. Okay, you guys. So you will be getting a um, genius computer because you will be needing a computer to be able to do your job. So Apple does provide that the skills and the tools that you need to be able to do that. Okay. You do need to purchase your own headset. I mean, if you're working at home or online anyways, I would suggest just getting a regular um, headset from Amazon, just something with a mic on it so you can be able to talk and be able to do what you need to do. Okay. So that's something that you should have anyways. If you're even looking for a job online, that's something that you should intel anyways they're fairly cheap on amazon like it's ranging between i've seen like 13 dollars up to 20 dollars if that's how much you want to spend so it's relatively affordable within anybody's budget if you are um going into a field of online work next thing when it comes to the hiring package Apple does provide health and wellness coverage, okay? It does not entail how much they will be giving you, but they do say that they offer um, health and wellness coverage. So whether that be going to the dentist, going to the doctor, you do have insurance under them. So I think that's a plus with any job with insurance is always a plus, okay, you guys, especially when it comes to working at home, you do want to look for these type of jobs that do provide you some coverage because it just helps when it comes to insurance. Everyone knows going to the doctor is very expensive and working at home, a lot of these jobs do not offer that so that is a plus they do offer an apple stock discount so if you're somebody that is um getting into investing if you are somebody that is has an interest in investing everyone should at this point you guys should invest their money so yes apple does offer you a stock discount so if you are going to be buying into apple stocks which you should which is a very lucrative stock i will say this is just a little tidbit okay they do offer a discount to be able to buy um apple stocks also offer which i thought was really cool is education reimbursement so if you're somebody that is wanting to continue on in school and um you want to continue on in school and you want to um better your horizons when it comes to um adding on a course or going back to school for any means necessary if you are um actually going into a field that apple will support so i'm pretty sure when you get hired they'll give you a list of programs that they support um when it comes to education so probably i'm gonna think just off the top of my head probably business if you're wanting to get into business and finance but when it comes to education reimbursement so you definitely want to talk to um when you do get hired and maybe the hr about this but this is something that i think is really cool a lot of companies actually do offer this um if you're somebody that wants to work in retail i know home depot actually um when i used to go to high school home depot also offered this type of reimbursement when it comes to students going back to school if you are going back to school for uh an actual um, course or actual field that they support they will actually reimburse you when it comes to certain education um costs so i think that is really awesome okay you guys everyone knows going to school is expensive going back to school can be expensive so it's nice to know that when you do join the shop you do have the option behind you of getting a reimbursement when you do um do certain courses that you actually can get when working with apple is definitely su a sufficient amount of discounts when it comes to apple products okay so you definitely will get an employee discount when it comes to purchasing apple products on your own which i think is really awesome um i think that's i think that's not just for at home jobs but just working for apple as like a genius member any other positions that um require apple you do get a discount when it comes to that so that's also good too and if you're somebody that is big into fitness okay you guys they also give you guys a 300 dollars credit when it comes to um health and wellness and fitness so that entails gym memberships that entails treatments okay if you go to um the gym and you want to get a massage like they give you a 300 dollars credit to cover all of those things per month but now that we got the benefits out of the way now we're going to talk about the actual interview process and the resume okay so that's what this part is going to happen okay because a lot of y'all want to get hired for the job but don't have a resume don't know what's going on like it's a lot of things that you need to have in place just going to give you some quick tidbits on how to make yourself stand out okay because like i said this is a very high demand job so you want to make sure you stand out by any means necessary let's start with the actual interview process so apple does a three-part interview process so they do an actual online assessment. So when you do apply 
for this job okay they'll send you an online test assessment and i'm telling you guys right now a lot of people don't like to sit down and do test questions they don't even make it past this part of the assessment process so the fact that you're sitting down and spending the extra 20 minutes or 15 minutes or 10 minutes to be able to do the assessment process and just answer questions is already setting you apart apart from the bunch because a lot of people don't even make it past that first step with that being said if you have made it to the interview process okay another round of applause you guys because it's very few that make it to the interview process okay like i said because a lot of people drop out when they get the assessment they don't even open the email when it comes to that so the fact that you have made it this far okay give yourself some kudos because it is very very hard now to be able to make it to this level of being hired next tidbit that i'm going to give you guys is to actually do some research on the company okay this goes hand in hand with any job that you're applying for any job that you're trying to get hired for it is smart and always smart to do some background information when it comes to the job i'm not saying you have to research the whole company's stocks and how much money they make per year like you don't have to do that okay just know some basic information so when they're being asked questions you will stand out amongst everybody else because they will say wow she did her or he did her his research he actually knows some back end information about the company okay you guys not just what they sell or not just the basic level information know who founded the company okay you guys that is a um, number one thing know who founded the company know when the company went well know when the company was founded okay the year the time you don't have to know the exact month or whatever just know when the company was founded and know the reason why they started the company okay these are just minimal things that you can research you can go just a quick google search will pull this information up okay you guys but go in there prepared so you're not feeling like oh my gosh they're asking me random questions and i don't know the answer that is the next tip when it comes to apple and they love asking people about background information about the company so this is something that go ahead and do your research and find out that i would have is to have a personal connection to the actual company so if you have an apple product or if you remember your first apple products how it made you feel how it improved your life okay just write a little tidbit about how that feel how it improved your life how um it helped how you helped others improve your life with this action tool and if you you don't have an apple product you don't have the actual memory that comes to mind make it up you guys <laughs> like honestly when it comes to interviews and when it comes to actually being hired a lot of times like when they do ask you questions you can't recall off the top of your head things that had happened or certain things that these had happened make it up okay you guys like come up with a story be a storyteller for uh two one or two three sentences okay come up with some type of connection when it comes to these type of companies because they will ask you personal information about you so it's good to just have a little tidbit little backstory okay you guys and recycle the story if you're going to a different interviews if you're doing different interviews for different companies recycle that same story over and over just have that one core story that you can always revert back to sometimes you might have to switch out the information but just have that one core story that kind of relates to you because i would tell you a lot of jobs they do ask you about personal experiences about how things have happened name a time that you've helped a, cu a customer solve a problem name a time that you have been a problem solver troubleshooted a problem okay these are questions that are are, are almost guaranteed to be asked so you have a core story that you can always revert back to and now let's talk about the resume you guys so a lot of you like i said before a lot of people want to get hired for this job but don't even have the actual core skills put on their resumes to be able to stand out okay you guys so these are core skills that they're going to be looking for when it comes to this type of particular job so i'm actually going to give you the actual specific skills you don't have to put all every single one on your resume but it's good to just have one two or three on your resume and your skill set portion to be able to stand out amongst um everyone else that's just throwing a random resume in and just hoping they get hired some of the things that you need to have on this resume is troubleshooting okay a person that is great at troubleshooting a person that is great as solving problems these are core skills that you need to have on your resume because like i said you guys that is the core value of this job is you are going to be a person that's troubleshooting problem solving you need to be able to solve problems at the at any given moment things that kind of go hand in hand is customer service and willing to keep a good composure willing to the ability to keep a calm composure like you can word it however you want to word it but these two things need to be on there mainly because like i said you are dealing with customers and you are dealing with temperamental customers angry customers aggravated customers sad customers like they just have a problem and they need someone to fix it and they're dumping your their problem on you and you 
really be able to keep a level head by any means necessary to be looking for obviously because this is very important when it comes to this job you need to be a level-headed person someone's screaming at you screaming or yelling whatever you need to be able to keep that level head literally sound like an automated robot like <laughs> when it comes to helping a problem like you need to have no emotion you need to not let um, be triggered by someone else's emotions so this is something that needs to be on your resume communication skills strong people skills very important like i said you're dealing with every person under the sun when it comes to helping customer service you don't know who you're gonna get on the other line when they call customer service so you need to have strong people skills strong communication skills and this is something you should be thinking about yourself if you actually do possess these skills because if you do not it's going to make the job a lot harder when it comes to being hired so don't just put it on there just for the sake of being hired actually make sure you possess these type of skills before you actually go into this job because this may not be the job for you if you don't have these type of skills and that's okay to be a good effective problem solver and having critical thinking skills they're kind of sort of repetitive so like i said you can pick two or three that kind of stand out to you but these are just main points that i would put in my skill set background to be able to get noticed when it comes to them seeing my resume and like i say you guys you only have one shot to do this they look at your resume and if it doesn't have what they need they go to the next so it's like you have to make sure that your resume is formulated in a way that stands out amongst the rest because a lot of people probably won't even have a skill set section on their resume so this already is setting you apart from from the past. It's pretty much it when it comes to having a detailed background when it comes to being hired for Apple, you guys. These are all the skills, like I said, broken down into four different parts to be able to get you to stand out amongst the rest. Struggling to being hired for any type of online job, if you're trying to find a side hustle, if you this has gone completely over your head, if you're struggling, tells online you're struggling with, you guys, I am your girl. I offer personal coaching when it comes to being hired online, finding side hustles, trying to get um, links, trying to find out information. I could actually do a personal call with you. Get on the call with me, okay? If you are struggling with online, trying to figure out where to start, how to go, blah, blah, blah. I know it can be a lot of information and it just helps to have that person behind you to just kind of guide you. So you have that option down below. That's in the description box. You can go ahead and click the link. You can book it's set on time. You can figure out what works for you. Okay, you guys, it's very easy to book. It's down below. I know a lot of people were trying to get um, coaching calls with me before and it wasn't working. So now it's, it's set up automatic so you can be able to click the link, do what you need to do, and be able to book with me. If you are subscribed to the channel. If you like videos like this, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.